friends welcome to lecture number 14 that is scenario hooks in cucumber in this lecture you will learn the importance of scenario hooks types of scenario hooks and how you can insert the hooks at scenario level or you can also use the tags so like uh, you can also add the hooks uh, specific to the tags as well so let us start right away basically the scenario hooks are used to execute certain part of the code before each scenario and after each scenario for example in here in this test uh, selenium test uh, what we are doing is going to the web page and then checking the data so for the selenium test especially what we need to do is every for every scenario we need to start the browser and then close the browser at the end we can put this particular starting the browser thing in the before hook and that closing the browser and quitting the browser that thing we can put it uh, in the after hook so what happens is that before and after hooks these are actually the methods that get executed before and after that scenario if you go to the step definition here you can notice that i have not instantiated that browser over there here you can notice that i use this add before annotation and you will notice that add before annotation is in this particular package kumbar.api.java do not get confused with the before annotation of the jnit in jnit api also we have got the annotation but this annotation that we have used over here is from the cucumber api and similarly after annotation is also used so in before annotation what we are doing is we are starting the browser and after annotation method we are using the closing the browser because after uh, before and after every scenario we need to do these things so that's why i have removed that starting the browser thing from the actual step definition over there and similarly i'm gonna remove this one as well this closing and quitting thing is done in the after scenario hook so i'm gonna remove that as well all right so what will happen is when i execute this particular scenario before and after uh, methods will also get executed so let us execute this particular scenario and then see how it works you can see the test has been executed and it has passed as well using this before and after scenario hooks so that is how you can use the before and after scenario hooks now what will happen if i execute this particular scenario will it launch the browser what's your answer let us run and see in this uh, scenario i don't need the browser and even though i do not need it it is going to launch the browser because before scenario hook has been added as you can see browser has been launched even though i do not need it so how to solve this problem so to solve this problem uh, what you can do is you can tag the scenarios for example this scenario has been let us say tagged with selenium and in the step definition class over there before and after annotations what you can do is you can put that selenium tag over there so what it means is that this before annotation should be executed or this method should be executed only for before the scenarios which have been which have been tagged with the selenium tag and similarly you can do it for the after method what it means is that only execute this particular section or the method when the scenario has been tagged with selenium so now if you execute this particular atm scenario where we do not need that uh, selenium or the browser at this, at this point of time it will not uh, launch the browser because that scenario hasn't been tagged with selenium as you can see this time around it hasn't started this browser because these methods were not executed this particular scenario this scenario hasn't been tagged with selenium that's why these methods have not been executed these methods will only be executed before and after the scenario which have been marked with selenium now if you look at this particular scenario this has been marked with this tag and if you execute this particular scenario browser will be launched or in short before and after uh, methods will be executed as you can see it is launching the browser so like that you can associate the uh, before and after methods with specific scenarios using this tags concept and you can have multiple before and after methods like for example let us say you want to execute uh, the before another before method before each scenario no matter if it is selenium scenario or non selenium scenario then you can use the before annotation but do not use any tag over there and then that method will be executed 
that ends our lecture number 14 that is scenario hooks in cucumber i hope you enjoyed this lecture and stay tuned for more lectures on cucumber thank you